on Shousa's swallowtail. This is a, a Florida endemic butterfly. It was one of the first insects added to the U.S. endangered species list in 1976, and it occurs in only a very limited area in southeast Florida. It occupies a very specialized habitat called tropical hardwood hammock and has been kind of hovering around um, very low population numbers over the last several decades. Historically, this butterfly, if you go back to the 1980s and 90s, would not be uncommon to see 1,000, 1,500 individuals in the wild in a given spring. Uh, in 2012, we saw four individuals range-wide, so it was really literally on the brink of extinction. The Shouse uh, has one generation a year, which is really unusual for a tropical butterfly. And so having only one generation a year, if it's a bad year, it's a dry year as an example, and there's inadequate or, or just not optimal food for the larvae, it can depress the population numbers within that season. It has a time lag in order to recover from a bad year or subsequent bad years. Once we realized it was in such low numbers, uh, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service issued an emergency rule to allow us to bring some individuals from the wild into captivity to try to breed it here at the University of Florida and then release individuals to boost numbers in the wild. A big aspect of this is collecting data on how those released individuals survive in the wild and what what impact they might have on the subsequent generation. So if we go back a year from now and we, we survey, hopefully we'll see a boost in the numbers owing to the ones that were released this spring. Well, the goal, I think, is, is kind of twofold. It's one is to maintain a population here at UF as sort of an assurance population should, heaven forbid, something happen to the wild population. You know, as an endemic Florida butterfly, if we lose it in the state of Florida, it's gone forever. And then the second goal is really to breed enough organisms here that we can release them to hopefully grow the numbers in the wild or potentially even establish new colonies within the historic range of the butterfly in South Florida. I like butterflies for the fact that um, there's so little we know about even very common species. And for butterflies, you know, they're, they're that charismatic microfauna. It's like working with a panda on a micro scale. So it's, it's great and the public loves butterflies and it really has that engendering effect to the public of getting them jazzed up about something small and then hopefully that spills over into a greater appreciation about the natural world around them. Mm -hmm.